Hi, I want to show a problem I've had, uh, which is a problem with the reset line. And I wanted to use these uh, cheap Chinese knockoffs of the DigiSpark board, which use an 80 tiny 85. And I think they are pretty great, um, especially for small projects. Um, you don't need any big development mode. You can just use these, but they have a problem. And the three analog ins of the Tiny85 are on pin 5, pin 4 and pin 3. And I wanted to hook up a potentiometer on pin 5. And I show you what happened. This is the little project. Um, it's just at the beginning stage. And at the moment you can see we have this LCD display and it just gives us a reading of the pot. Um, the update rate is too fast to really show it on camera. But what I wanted to show you is if I turn the pot to the left, as you can see, uh, the display freezes. Um, we have no activity at all. As you can see now, the um, display shows all eights for uh, the initializing. And if I turn it back, you can see it will come to life again after a while. And I was really confused at first uh, why this happened, because this only happened on pin 5. And the problem is um, pin 5 is also the reset pin. And the Chinese people who made these boards forgot to set the flags in the ATtiny tiny right so the reset pin is disabled and because the reset pin is enabled um, you can pull the reset low with this pot and yeah you basically uh, force the chip into reset and that's not really useful. I mean, um, for this application, I either have to um, buy the genuine DigiSpark because there the reset flag is set correctly, or I have to use a bigger board. We will see. But just you know, um, be careful when using these uh, cheap knockoffs. Uh, the reset line is not always disabled.